what do you think of the idea of prosecuting Tom Snedden for falsifying fingerprint evidence, falsifying phone evidence, and the conspiracy between Ron Zonin and Tom Snedden to get Michael Jackson from me? I spoke to Tom Snedden after Michael died, and I said, Tom, I think it's time that we buried the hatchet and not be able to talk with one another. That's, that's not good. And he said he would think about it. We haven't talked since. So he would I don't, think about it? He would think about it. So I don't know what, what really to say to answer that. I can tell you this. At the time, I was very upset at the Santa Barbara District Attorney. Really upset. Now that Michael has passed, I really don't know the answer to your question, except to say Michael never, ever touched this child. The case against him was absolutely nonsensical. Did you ever read the transcript after you left the trial? Oh, yes, I followed it greatly. Michael called me. We would talk about that case. Don't, on you, on. don't you think something went very wrong there when they falsified the fingerprint evidence that Tom Mesro caught him and said, see the date on the magazine? You were last at Neverland when? And he got his fingerprints now that on, was, on the evidence that was, at the grand jury. That was my discovery. See, I got all the magazines. I went and I bought them. And uh, I think that was a Hustler magazine. And Larry Flint personally got me those magazines. And I met him at the Four Seasons Hotel. And he got me every single one of the Hustler magazines. And when I saw that magazine, and that the date was utterly impossible, it was after the so-called event. Right. Larry Flint and I sat there and we looked at this and I said, Larry, you, you have no idea what you've done for me. That was the magazine that disclosed the, the, that the nonsense. The, that was the October issue, wasn't it? It was the October issue. Correct. October issue. And, and Gavin had said many times on the stand, he had last been there, what, December, January? He was last there in March. March? And this magazine came out in October, and it was at the 04 Grand uh, grand Jury indictment. He got his fingerprints on. Now, let me ask you, you've been an attorney for how many years? 30 years. 30 years. And Tom Snedden has been a prosecutor for how many years? At least 25? Yes. Does an experienced prosecutor give the evidence to the boy with no gloves on? Never. But he did, didn't well, he? But you have to understand. He did that, didn't he? Yes, he did. So you have he's to understand, guilty. nobody, nobody figured that we would go, that I would go, and get the copy of the magazine. Because, you see, when the evidence was turned over to us, all that was turned over was the photograph of the page. And unless you went and got the magazine itself, you couldn't tell that there was a date discrepancy. I got Larry Flint to get me that magazine. And I was the one who saw the date discrepancy. It takes hard dog work to expose fraud. So since an experienced prosecutor like Tom Snedden and Ron Zonin, assistant prosecutor with many years of experience. That was premeditated plan, wasn't it? I'll leave that to everyone else to judge. Oh. I just know I just know it was wrong. And it was He it says was it's wrong, but he won't say it was premeditated malice of forethought. I hear you. I hear you. But you won't say it, will you? Nah. Do you think a jury would if they indicted, if we probably, got an indictment? Probably. If a jury probably. looked, wouldn't they say Tom Snedden is guilty of premeditated evidence manufacturing? I'd have to listen to his defense first. <laughs> Spoken like a lawyer. <laughs> Spoken like a lawyer. This is what I said. You'll never get a lawyer to go after another lawyer. They won't do this. Not in this case. That's why we need a special grand jury. But thank you, Mr. Oxman. At least he agrees with me. The evidence was false. It was well, fake. It, it, it just didn't work right for the prosecution. <laughs> they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar. They sure did. Thank right. you very much for that interview. You take care.